USA, USA, USA. Hey guys, welcome to Critical Beauty Salon. In this vlog, I will reveal the eight biggest scandals associated with Miss USA pageant. And I will add so far because the pageant still exists, which means that there could be even bigger scandals in the future. But before I start, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so and click the bell icon below to receive instant notification for the next video. My ranking is based on two factors, coverage by the media and popularity in pageant circles. In other words, people are still talking about these scandals because they are juicy and never get old. Let's start with number 8. Three days after she was crowned Miss California USA 2008 on November 25, 2007, Christina Silva had to relinquish her crown to the real winner, Raquel Beasley, after it was discovered that an accounting error resulted in her incorrectly receiving the prestigious title. Silva was actually the second runner-up. She said, when I found out it didn't belong to me, I knew there was only one thing to do, no matter how difficult. However, a few weeks after relinquishing the crown, she filed a lawsuit against the pageant director Keith Lewis. She claimed that Keith Lewis wanted a less Hispanic looking winner. Her lawyers claimed that Lewis was uncomfortable with the fact that Miss Silva spoke Spanish with certain vendors. Silva alleges that Lewis, its producer K2 Productions, and the Machinerist organization engaged in fraud, negligence, breach of contract, and intentional infliction of emotional distress, among other charges. Lewis said the allegations of racial bias were unfounded. Lewis said, I've had three winners since I've been a director. Two have been African American two of four in the history of the state pageant. And the current Miss California USA is 25% Filipino, Lewis said, referring to Beasley. I think my record speaks for itself. Katie Reese won the title of Miss Nevada USA 2007 on her first try in a state pageant held in Las Vegas on October 8, 2006. On December 20th, 2006, Allegations of Reese exhibiting lewd behavior in a Florida nightclub three years prior while away at college were made, and several photographs of Reese kissing other women and simulating sexual acts were released to the media. On December 21, 2006, Reese was stripped of her crown by the Mission of his organization with the approval of pageant co-owner Donald Trump. She was succeeded by pageant first runner-up Helen Salas, who represented Nevada in the Miss USA 2000 pageant in March, placing in the final five. Reese is probably the most notorious state title holder under the Miss USA umbrella. After her dethronement, she committed various infractions. On February 6, 2008, she was arrested for resisting arrest after allegedly assaulting a police officer after a traffic stop at 3 a.m. Later, she was found with 5.3 grams of drugs in her possession. On June 8, 2015, a warrant was issued for her arrest. She was charged with four felonies that included trafficking in a controlled substance, sale of a controlled substance, and two counts of conspiracy to violate the Uniform Controlled Substances Act. The criminal complaint filed stated that she conspired with unknown co-conspirators. She was arrested again Tuesday on September 1st, 2015, after her boyfriend of 10 months, Kevin DJ Culprit Sims, was pulled over by Las Vegas police for allegedly speeding and failing to signal when changing lanes. Poor Katie. During the Miss Universe 2018 pageant in Thailand, Miss USA Sarah Rose Summers uploaded an Instagram story where she, along with Miss Universe Colombia Valeria Morales and Miss Universe Australia Francesca Hong, made fun of Miss Cambodia's English, claiming that she did not know any English and saying, it must be isolating and confusing all the time. She also made fun of Miss Vietnam's English. Miss Vietnam is so cute and she pretends to know so much English and then you ask her a question after having a cold, whole conversation with her and then she goes. She's so adorable. Summers responded to the backlash with an apology via Instagram. She wrote, 
Miss Universe is an opportunity for women from around the world to learn about each other's cultures, life experiences, and views. We all come from different backgrounds, and we can grow alongside one another. In a moment where I intended to admire the courage of a few of my sisters, I said something that I now realize can be perceived as not respectful, and I apologize. My life, friendships, and career revolve around me being a compassionate and empathetic woman. I would never intend to hurt another. I'm grateful for opportunities to speak with not Miss Cambodia and Hehan, Miss Vietnam, directly about this experience. These are the moments that matter most to me. Well, good for you, Miss USA, for apologizing. Genesis Davila represented Miami Beach in the Miss Florida USA 2017 pageant held on July 16, 2016. She ended up winning and was crowned Miss Florida USA 2017 by outgoing title holder Brie Gabrielle. Davila was dethroned on July 22, 2016 after it was revealed that she hired outside hair and makeup professionals during the Miss Florida USA 2017 state pageant instead of doing the makeup herself, which is explicitly against pageant rules. The pageant stated that they received multiple complaints from eyewitnesses and other contestants, in addition to giving Davila an unfair advantage. Her first runner-up, Lynette de los Santos, took her place as Miss Florida USA 2017 and represented Florida at Miss USA 2017. Davila later filed a lawsuit against the owners of the Miss Florida USA pageant for $15 million, seeking damages for defamation and a restoration of her crown. The lawsuit was later dismissed in October, with its terms confidential. The following year, Davila returned to Miss Florida USA, representing Miami, and won the competition yet again. She represented Florida at Miss USA 2018 and made the top five. Davila was succeeded by Nicola Jennings of Palm Harbor. In June 2012, Miss Pennsylvania USA Sheena Monin said that another contestant, Karina Brez, Miss Florida USA, saw the names of the top five on a telecast paper in the same order in which they were later called out. Brez later said she had made her comment jokingly, changing her story more than once. Brez went on to say that she made the whole thing up. Monin alleged that the Miss Universe organization had predetermined the results of the Miss USA 2012 pageant after she had failed to place. She then gave up her Miss Pennsylvania USA title, stating that the Miss Universe organization, which oversees the Miss USA pageant, is fraudulent, lacking in morals, inconsistent, and in many ways, trashy. Immediately following her resignation, the Trump organization publicly denied Monin's allegations and sued her for $5 million for slander and defamation. Trump went on to defend the honesty of the final round judging. He said, Ernst & Young is one of the great respected accounting firms. They do the tabulation. It's not like we care who the final contestants are. You take the 16 and you go down to 10 to 5 and then you have a winner and then it's all tabulated. The judges are all celebrities and they make their pick and that's the end of it. The pageant organizers initiated an arbitration proceeding against Monin for defamation and damages, arguing that they lost a $5 million BP sponsorship and reputation because of allegations. Monin refused to announce her claims. In the December 30th, 2012 default judgment, an arbitrator ruled that she must pay the pageant organization $5 million for direct damages, but did not award the other demands of the organizers. Mm-mm. Girl. In July 1957, Leona Gage represented Maryland at the Miss USA pageant and was crowned as the winner, the first winner from that state. Pageant officials launched an investigation after rumors began to surface about her background and past. After Gage lied to reporters or declined to comment when they questioned her, she confessed the truth a day later. She was actually 18, not 21, had been married twice, and was a mother of two young children, which her mother and mother-in-law confirmed to reporters. As being a wife and mother were clear violations of the contest rules, Gage was immediately disqualified and stripped of her Miss USA crown. The crown and prizes subsequently went to her first runner-up, Charlotte Sheffield, Miss Utah. Leona Gage's situation is significant because it compelled pageant officials 
to do a thorough background check of all future contestants and cemented the rules that prevent minors, married women, and women who have given birth from applying for the contest. Hey, Leona's children, who are your daddies? Who are your daddies? Hey, Leona's children, who are your daddies? Who are your daddies? The edition of December 16, 2006 of the New York Daily News reported Tara Connor, Miss USA 2006, had tested positive for cocaine, had kissed Miss Teen USA Katie Blair in public, and had sneaked men into their Trump Place apartment. One New York City nightlife veteran said, she really is a small town girl. She just went wild when she came to the city. Tara just couldn't handle herself. They were sneaking those nightclub guys in and out of the apartment. According to Fox News, citing local New York newspapers, Connor moved out of her apartment in one of Trump's luxury buildings on Manhattan's Upper West Side sometime during the week of December 11, 2006. On December 19, 2006, the day after her 21st birthday, Trump held a press conference saying that Connor was not dethroned as Miss USA. He said, I've always been a believer in second chances. During the press conference, Connor declined to comment on allegations of illicit drug use and claimed she was not an alcoholic, but acknowledged making serious mistakes. After coming out of rehab less than two months later in February 2007, Connor admitted in an interview with Matt Lauer that she had abused cocaine and antidepressants. She said that she had faced her demons and hinted her problems may have stemmed from some unspecified abuse during her childhood with someone she very recently confronted. She would not comment on whether this abuse was sexual. She said, I will not deny that I've witnessed some abuse, but out of respect for my family, it's something I would like to speak with my family about first. Connor told NBC's Today Show, quote, Later on, maybe I'll feel more comfortable about speaking on these topics, but right now, not so much. She also participated in an interview on Larry King Live. And the biggest scandal in the history of Miss USA involves Carrie Prejean, Miss California USA 2009, who received nationwide attention over her response to a question about same-sex marriage during the 2009 Miss USA pageant. Prejean was asked by pageant judge Perez Hilton whether she believed every U.S. state should legalize same-sex marriage. She responded, Well, I think it's great that Americans are able to choose one way or the other. We live in a land where you can choose same-sex marriage or opposite marriage. And you know what? In my country, in my family, I think that I believe that marriage should be between a man and a woman. No offense to anybody out there. But that's how I was raised, and I believe that it should be between a man and a woman. The media attention intensified after Hilton added a video blog post to his website and made comments there and elsewhere, disparaging Prejean and her answer to the question. Hilton stated, She gave an awful, awful answer that alienated so many people. He also told ABC News that she lost the crown because of how she answered the question. Prejean has also stated that she believes that her answer cost her the crown. Prejean stated that she was told by Miss California USA pageant officials that she, quote, needed to not talk about her faith and was pressured to apologize for her statements. On November 3, 2009, Prejean and K2 announced a settlement with undisclosed terms, with both sides dropping their lawsuits. CNN subsequently reported that Prejean's settlement with Miss California USA officials was prompted by the revelation of a sex tape, a home video involving Prejean. And there you have it, the top eight scandals in the history of Miss USA so far. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment, and share. Thanks for watching, guys. Until the next time, bye. USA, USA, USA.